What's going on? This is Jada Black. I'm back with another video. Now I've been looking at some commentary and comments from the gold digger section of YouTube. And these women are so full of themselves. And you can tell that they're so bitter that they've been throwing their vagina around to men who don't want them. <laughs> yeah, that's a fake laugh. But they've been throwing their vagina around to men who don't want them, to men who use them, to men who don't need them, except for maybe a place to stay or a car to drive. So these women get on social media upset and they go in these comment sections, right? They go in these comment sections and they talk mad shit about men. And when I make videos, they come to the comment section upset at the fact that I made a video that made them mad even though they go to these women's videos and say all kinds of terrible, uh, ill-willed bullshit. I don't comment to them saying, why do you say this? How can you say this? Because at the end of the day, you're wallowing in your own pity. And that's why it makes it so much more easier to make these videos because a lot of these women who subscribe to these gold diggers who love watching their videos, you know, you have these women who will be in search of a rich man, but then they'll pull a, uh, Mariah Carey and then the relationship is over. And when I say pull a Mariah Carey, I mean, you're actually spending this guy's money like it's yours to the point to where he can't even deal with you. You see, men aren't checking for gold diggers anymore. Why do you think older men, successful men date younger women? It's because they, uh, they have that woman pretty much in control. They know well, she knows that she can't fuck up or he's going to leave her for another woman. You know, she's a lot more disciplined in the way she acts towards him. A lot of these women like Mariah Carey, who's older, they don't have any respect for a lot of people. They feel like people should respect them. Even though the guy could be a billionaire, she will still show uh, hardly any respect and still think that she can spend his money and she can act any kind of way. She can post basically naked photos of herself on social media, just showing little to no respect for the person that she's with. I told y'all that money doesn't buy respect from women. It really doesn't. Women don't respect anybody these days because this society has been built for women, but they refuse to acknowledge it. So men are not fucking with you gold diggers, especially if they know you're a gold digger. They rather date a humble, younger female, okay, who is very, uh, who ha who's happy to be where they are, you know? Not these women who feel like they deserve to have this, they deserve to have that. Because you have women nowadays who actually want equality, they want equal pay, but still want the man to be rich. What kind of shit is that? Okay, so you want to make just as much as men, but you still want a man to take care of you. What In what world? How is that logical? That's not logical. That's stupidity. That's you not understanding the world that you live in, not understanding logic, not understanding how shit works these days, okay? When you look at the relationships between men and women these days, it's very adversarial, you know? And it's, and it's due to women wanting to be more masculine than men. They wanna be more masculine than men, but then they wanna be protected. Now, which one is it? You want it both ways, don't y'all? 
You want it both ways, don't ya? You want it both ways. You can have it both ways. You want your cake and eat it too. But I will say this. Men are not going to fight hard to protect women who want to be equal and who want to do the same things physically that men do. You see, men had to protect the family. Men had to protect the woman. They had to protect the children. But now you have women who are saying, no, I can do it myself. Okay, fine, do it yourself. Do you yourself. If y'all understand what I just said. You can't have it both ways. You can't out, you can't be out here gold digging and then say you want equal pay. Huh? Especially if you have a woman who works in corporate America, right? She works in corporate America and she wants to make equal money to these men, but then she wants to turn around and talk about how she wants a man who makes more than her who can protect and provide. What? You should be able to protect and provide for yourself if you're seeking to make the same amount of money that he's making. You have men who build companies and then are pushed out of the company in, in favor of a woman because it's the PC thing to do. You got men building these social media sites and women are coming in and taking control of it and are running in it to the ground. Case in point, Dixie Carter. There's a woman who's been running TNA or that was NWA. Some of you may know what I'm saying, some of you may not. If you don't know, you can look it up. There's a woman named Dixie Carter. She's been running TNA wrestling for, let's see, maybe nine years, maybe longer than that, maybe nine, almost 10 years. She, she bought into the company. She's from a rich family. And what she did is that instead of staying with what was built by those men, she decided to bring in people who didn't know what the fuck they were doing. And they basically helped ruin the company. They brought in overpriced wrestlers. They had these terrible storylines. They ruined television deals. But this woman wanted to do things her way. She wanted to be the star of the show. And what did she go and do? She go and ruin an entire um, company. All because of her vanity. All because of her selfishness and thinking that she could actually do something when she knew nothing about the business and she brought in people who didn't care about the business. You know, and, and it's just sad, man, to see something that was so promising be brought down by a selfish, ignorant female who came from money, so she thought that she could use that to her advantage, and then when she could no longer use her daddy's money, now no one else is willing to financially help you, or they're helping you, and you're taking the money and pocketing for yourself. But you got a lot of these gold digging women who think they're entitled to a man's money when they've done nothing for themselves. They've built nothing for themselves. All they have is a college diploma and a, and a ton of student loan debt. But they think that a man is supposed to take care of them. They think that a man's supposed to do what was done 50 years ago, even though women don't want to be the same women they were 50 years ago. You can't have it both ways. You can't have one without the other. And you got women who are bashing men in these comment sections. They're even making videos bashing men when they haven't built shit. They're not going to build shit. They're hypocrites. They're broke too. If you, if you include all their student loan debt, they're broke too. They're working to pay that off. There are women who've been out of college for 10 years and still haven't paid off half their student loan debt. But then they want to talk about their degrees. You know, I need to get some books so I could uh, recommend 
I'm gonna find some books and start recommending some books. Hmm. You know, some of these people on social media could be test studies because they seem to, to have all these answers, but they never have answers for their own issues. They're constantly telling men what they should do, even though they don't take advice from men when men try to at least advise them on what men are looking for these days because the demographics have changed, relationship roles have changed. Okay, advice is needed. Advice should be welcome. As much as a lot of us may have an ego and may not want advice, we should accept it. We should accept the advice that we get, man. We should be able to say, okay, you know what? I made mistakes. I'm willing to listen and learn, to figure out the things that I've done and what I could build upon. But you got certain people who just aren't willing to do that. And it makes things more difficult for them because they think they have all the answers when they really don't. <laughs>